ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and good evening. To Eric Zemmour and his financiers, listen up. Many have said to Mr. Zemmour, don't come here, you're not welcome here. I'm not a British citizen, so I got no right to say if you're welcome or not. However, I believe the difference between you and the United Kingdom is that here in this nation, we believe in freedom, freedom of speech, and freedom of religion. Many have wrongly portrayed you as a far-right candidate. You're not far right, you're far left. You are far left when you refuse to defend the life of the inborn child. You said abortion is a right and that you will not even try to repeal the French equivalent of Roe vs Wade. You are far left when you said re-establishing death penalty is not a priority. Well, it is the bare minimum to restore law and order in France. You are far left when you promoted adultery in your book Le Premier Sex. You promoted adultery to a young man who wanted to remain faithful to his fiancée, and you made fun of him for that. You far left when over and over again you showed disdain for traditional Christian family values. And you're definitely far left when you have the same anti ed scarf obsession and rhetoric as Joseph Stalin. When Stalin seized power and became the supreme ruler of the USSR, he enacted policies against the Islamic veil. Stalin hated the veil of Muslim women for the same reason you do, Mr. Zamor. Stalin was thinking that the veil prevented Muslim women from becoming good citizens. So do you today, Zamor. Stalin was thinking he had to ban the veil to free Muslim women. So do you today, Zamor. The USSR imposed veil burning ceremonies. Zamor challenged a Muslim woman to remove her veil. Different method, same ideology. I came to this very beautiful country because I wanted to get as far away as possible from these French sorry politicians who instead of advocating for lower taxes and for religious freedom, instead of all of that, they advocated for a Soviet-style version of freedom of religion. I was sick and tired of all the anti-Muslim rhetoric. I wanted to be free. However, the only thing I will agree with the more is actually immigration. I believe every nation got the right to protect its border and to choose who to let in or not. As much as I love this nation, and I am grateful to God Almighty to be living here today, and as much as I am grateful to the United Kingdom for the privilege of living here, and as much as I want to call this place home, if tomorrow this country decide they don't want me here anymore, for whatever reason, or for no reason at all, I will respect that decision. This is one of the only things I agree with Eric Zemmour. Every nation shall be sovereign. Otherwise, except on this issue, this man is not a conservative, is a leftist. We share the same anti ed scarf obsession and rhetoric as Joseph Stalin in the USSR. Herr Zemmour's visits to London remind me of this good old American song, an anti-communist song, which goes like this. You don't care how people suffer, and should they you consider that again. You bring a lot of trouble to the town and then you leave. That's part of your communist game. I detect a little communism. I can see it in the things you do. Communism, socialism, call it what you like. There's very little difference in the two. Zemmour is not totally wrong in immigration. He has no clear roadmap and will only foster instability and chaos in Western Europe. The more reckless policies are a threat against France and against the national interests of the United Kingdom and of the United States of America. All freedom-loving people in Britain and all freedom-loving Americans should do whatever they legally can to make sure the more is not elected president of France. His presidency will only bring divisions and chaos instead of solving the real issues at hand. Britain, this great nation, has always fought against communism, and so did we. We Muslims were always at the front line of the fight against communism. Today the peril of communism is still here. Only the forms and shapes of this threat are different. The more want to back down on China. He think the Cold War is only between the US and China, while the Cold War is between communist China and the rest of the free world. To sum it up, the more is weak on crime and weak on communist China, but tough on Muslim women. Zemmour is the candidate of the Chinese Communist Party for French presidency. President Reagan warned us ahead of time about weak leaders like Zemmour when he criticized the attitude of those who wanted peace at any price, as they will say, better red than dead. Of course, we all want peace, even with communist China. But as Reagan said, we don't want peace at any price. A weak and divided France will help communist China tremendously 
The Chinese Communist Party is persecuting its people and its religious minorities, including Muslims and Christians. But Zemmour does not care. He's a coward. We will say to the face of the Chinese, Muslims and Christians persecuted by the Chinese Communist Party, give up your dream of freedom because to save our own skin we are willing to make a deal with your slave masters. This kind of attitude does not help peace at all. As Churchill said, you were given the choice between war and dishonor. You choose dishonor and you will have war. That's why because of his anti-Muslim obsession, because he is weak with the tough and tough with the weak, that's why Eric Zemmour is a threat to France and Western Europe and the whole world. I will end this video with a quote from President Reagan from one of his speech, A Time for Choosing. This quote sums up the kind of president the world need. You and I have the courage to say to our enemies, there is a price we will not pay, there is a point beyond which they must not advance. Winston Churchill said, the destiny of man is not measured by material computations. When great forces are on the move in the world, we learn we are spirits, not animals. And he said, there is something going on in time and space and beyond time and space, which, whether we like it or not, spells duty. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. And ladies and gentlemen, this rendezvous is not with Zemmour, a false conservative with an anti-Muslim rhetoric and a Soviet agenda. Thank you, and God bless you.